today's video, I'm talking about the Amazon Prime wardrobe service. Is it a good deal or is it a waste of your money? Find out guys in today's video. So if you're not familiar with the Amazon Prime wardrobe service, the idea is that you can buy up to eight items, have them delivered to your door without paying anything for up to seven days. And it gives you time to try on all the items you buy and you can return all the items. And in my case, I'm returning all eight items. I went through, chose quite a few number of pairs of shoes. Most of them dressier shoes. We're talking Oxfords and I'll talk about their definition of Oxford. But overall, I was pretty impressed with the service because I had, was able to bring this to my home, try on at home and be able to send things back without paying anything. First up, we've got the Kenneth Cole Reaction Men's Reason Oxford. Looking at the overall build, um, you know, it's decent for 120 bucks though. I'm not going to say that I can recommend this shoe. I don't know. It's got a little bit of a plasticky feel to it. Overall, the stitching looks fine. Now, they said this was in cognac, but I don't know. This doesn't feel like a true cognac. This isn't a shoe that I would feel comfortable paying 120 bucks for. Maybe you're starting off and you can't afford to spend over $300 for a pair of dress shoes. So you're going to start off with something like this. They say these are Oxfords. Not really. These are more bluchers. Again, because it's, they've got an open lacing system. And by the way, all the Oxfords I'm going to show you in today's video, they actually have an open lacing system. This is common over in the United States where Oxfords and open lacing systems kind of go together. But if you're going to wear it with a formal suit, I would definitely recommend you look for a shoe brand that has a closed lacing system unlike these. Next up, I've got these Bostonian Maxton Plain Oxford. Overall, this is a very different shoe from what I just showed you in the build, the attention to detail. This is a much more casual shoe. When I look over at the shoe, what I see immediately, they paid attention and they tried to bring a lot of fun into the details. We've got double stitching, which isn't always a sign of quality, but these guys are bringing in the double stitching because they wanted to bring in a contrast stitch. We've also got this broguing right in here. So this shoe, because of the contrast stitching, because of the broguing, is going to be a more casual shoe. I think this this is a perfectly fine shoe at hundred dollars. It's a bit of a stretch, but yeah, if I had to, if I had to purchase these, I think I could easily get a couple hundred wears out of these. Uh, but the contrast stitching and the overall attention to detail on the build, uh, I think I have to just, yeah, go ahead and say, sure, go ahead and grab these. Next up, we've got the Steve Madden Bosley Oxfords coming in at 90 bucks. And as you can see, this is going to be a much more formal shoe. The darker color, the overall, you know, non-contrast stitching, a very sleek design. I like these. And for $90, I can already tell you that you know, this is probably a decent uh, or if not a good deal. I look at the sole. It's actually a rubber sole with some nice traction. Again, they didn't go for any contrast, but overall, I think that these are perfectly fine and uh, a decent looking shoe. So I'm going to go ahead and give them my thumbs up. Next, we've got the Floorsheim Spark Capto Oxford at 120 bucks. And the attention to detail here, they actually did a pretty good job. I'm going to look at the stitching. I'm looking at the overall build quality. So this shoe looks like it's made to be a bit dressier, but the color makes it a bit more casual. I like these. For 120 bucks, I would say it's almost a bit of a stretch, but if you could get, you know, 200 wears out of these, and again, the build quality overall is good. Wear this with jeans, wear this with chinos, wear this with maybe a casual suit, dress slacks, uh, but this is a perfectly fine shoe. Next up, we've got the Stacy Adams Dickinson's Cap Toe Oxfords, and overall, I like the look of the shoe. Now, they call this cognac, and compare that with the Kenneth Cole, which again says cognac, and this is something you got to be careful of, is one company's idea of cognac is not the others, and I really like this a lot more. The overall upper, the color, the feel, to me, it makes a huge difference for you to get the right color, and that's actually why I think this service is actually pretty good, because you can get the same color in different brands and actually try it out. Now, the toe box, what I really like about these, they have a sleek toe box. Some of the other shoes I showed you, they've got a higher toe box right here in the front. That does make the shoe more casual. These are going to have a sleek, nice design. And for the price point, 75 bucks, I definitely would spend money on these and keep these. So right now, I'm going to have to give these thumbs up. Next up, we've got the Zanzar Hartung Oxford. What do you first notice about this shoe? When you look at this, you see all the holes right here on the toe. Why do you have this perforated leather right here at the front? So that it's going to be a very breathable summer shoe. And that's exactly what it's designed for. The lighter color, the overall build. This is going to be a more casual shoe that you can still dress nice during the summer and be cool. Still at the price point and the overall feel of the leather, even though it's double the price of a lot of other shoes I'm talking about, this feels like a pretty good deal. 
I'd have to say, yes, if you are in a hot area, sure, I'll give these thumbs up. Now, those Stacey Adams shoes I thought were a great deal, so I wanted to try another one. This is not an Oxford, as you can tell. This is going to be a double monk, and it's got the cap toe right in here, and it had a bit of suede, so I want something a little bit unique. And I think that these shoes actually look really nice. The build quality, they didn't, uh, you know, it's got a rubber sole and it's definitely the sole where they went a little bit cheaper. This is not something you can get resold, but you know, for a few seasons during the fall, maybe during the spring, even during the summer, you could pull these off. If you want to be able to add a bit of style to your wardrobe, these shoes are going to be perfectly fine and I think are a pretty decent deal. Next up, we've got the Nunbush Penny Loafer. And when you see the shoe, what do you see? Immediately, you probably notice it is a square shoe, and that's because of the silhouette. Notice how the toe box goes straight up here. And guys, this for me was eh, just something I'm not going to normally pull into my wardrobe. I do like penny loafers, but I like more of a sleeker silhouette in the front. Now, overall, I was impressed with the build quality of this coming in at the price point of $67, so pretty good. But they actually, you can see where they actually ran the uh, the nails right into the, uh, the heel, which is good. A very simple shoe, but you may find this works for you. Wasn't my style, but uh, you know, at the price point and with you being able to have it delivered to your house and try it for free, well, maybe it's a pretty good, maybe it's a pretty good deal for some of you guys. So out of the eight shoes I received, four of them I think are worth keeping. So the Zanzars, I talked about these. I think it's just a great, a unique design, a nice summer shoe. It's very light and overall it just feels like a quality build. So yeah. Now the Stacy Adams shoes, both of these I thought were an amazing deal for what you're getting. Again, this is going to be a rubber sole shoe that is glued. But if you understand that, realize that the uppers look really nice. This is a shoe that probably punches above its class and the floor shim. I actually think that this is a great all-purpose shoe. I could wear this with jeans. I, it seems like it could stand up to inclement weather. I like just the overall look and the color and this was a shoe that I could see as an everyday wear. So what's my final thought on the Amazon Prime wardrobe service? I actually like it. So you get a thousand dollars of shoes delivered to your door. You get to try them on and within seven days if you return them you are charged absolutely nothing. I, pretty good service. I would like for them to have a wider range of different items out there. When I looked at the shoes, I mean, it was a good range of shoes, but they didn't have a lot of the less expensive shoes. And don't forget, gents, if you want to grab any of the shoes, I'm linking to them all down in the description of this video. And yes, we do get paid for that. We're an affiliate of Amazon. Now, at this point, you may be saying, Antonio, hold on. You're wanting me to go out there and spend money on shoes, but I need to learn more about the different parts of shoes. You were talking about closed open lacing systems. Antonio, help me understand. Go check out this video. I go into all the details of a quality shoe, what to look for because if you're looking for something at a higher price point or you're wanting to spend not much money and you want to be able to walk in your local store and be able to identify quality and understand all the various parts of a shoe, I've got you covered in this video right here. That's it, gents. Take care. I will see you in the next video.